So now we're going to edit a stereo audio track and first I'm going to delete some of these tracks that I'm not going to need. So we'll delete those. We'll keep our tamper in. I don't I don't know why we'll need it later, but we're going to keep it. So I went to uh, Google and typed in royalty free music. So I found this epic track which I've actually previously downloaded before and we're going to import that into Pro Tools. So I'm going to go to File. So once you hit Import, you can uh, go to your Downloads folder, wherever you downloaded it, and mine was called bensound-epic-mp3. So I'm going to open that. And it automatically opened it in a stereo audio track. See the two channels right here? Let's see what it sounds like. So maybe for our application, our intro was too long. So let's find where that second. So right there is where the second uh, round of the intro starts. So I'm going to trim this and just move it. And I've trimmed my intro. So, so maybe I've cut a few seconds off for a, a, an epic commercial or something like that. So here's our second section, it starts right here. Maybe I want to cut that first part of the second section out. So I'm going to... First we're going to enter slip mode because the tempo doesn't matter anymore. And I'm going to zoom in with Alt and the scroll wheel. So there's where our second section starts. So I'm going to split right there. Zoom back out. I need to find where the first part of the second section ends. Right there. So I just want to cut off those effectively four bars. It, the bars aren't lined up here, but you can hear it. So right there is also where I want to split. So I'm just going to highlight this new region of our clip and delete it. Now, once I drag it back over, oh, it started a little early. So what can we do? We'll have to fine tune where this split happens. See, it's a little, it's just a little bit early. So I'm going to drag it. All right, now we have that little blip in our sound, so what do we need to do? We need to crossfade it. So these clips actually contain all of the information from the original clip, and we'll just fill in. I'm going to adjust it a little bit more and create a crossfade right before. Now if I really wanted to get this perfect, I could zoom in even more and uh, do some trial and error, but for our purposes, you can see that it's a nice seamless transition, or, or would be seamless if I worked on it a little bit more. And we've cut out some seconds from our royalty-free sound. There you have it. This is basically just the same way you edit a mono track, but with a different application. So for this application, we were using a stereo royalty-free music track that maybe we wanted to trim down for a trailer or something like that. Next, I'll be showing you the mixer in Pro Tools first. Here's a preview.